persistence, timing, timing, persistence, maybe both. You, you, need, you need both. You have to be relentless uh, in your pursuit of, of what you want. You also have to be, you know, like be self-aware too. Like, hey, am I being a nag or, you know, am I being persistent? Because those are two different things. You're reaching out to someone via email or you're calling like, you know, maybe it's once a week. Just, again, go with your gut, go with your instinct, but definitely pay attention because nobody wants to deal with someone that's a nag. Uh, there's a store group, a store chain, uh, about 25 doors that I've been trying to get into. And I've been trying to get in there for, I, I, I just reached out to them maybe a couple weeks ago and they got back to me. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm, I hope, hopefully you guys remember me. Um, we really want to partner with you guys. We think our product belongs on your shelves. And she, she responded. She always responds. And she responded. And she's like, actually, we're not taking on any new products this time. We don't have very much space. However, there's a, we do have a store uh, that has uh, some extra space. Do you want it? And I'm like, abso-freaking-lutely, I, I want the store. And, you know, parts of me is like, I looked at the email chain, and I'm like, I've been trying to get into this store for five years. And, and then, you know, like, it's like, dang, one store? But I, 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 I kind of laughed about it, but I'm like, listen, don't despite fall, small beginnings, right? Because it, it always starts with, and for me, it was like, it was humbling, but I'm like, yes, like this, but that's the power of, of persistence. Like, if I never reached out, she didn't come to me and say, hey, Nahum, we have uh, one store. I know you've been reaching out over the past five years. Uh, do you want this product? Like, no, like, no. She, I reached out, and she's like, all right, I respect that. These guys, that he ain't going to stop. And so I got the story. And listen, guess what? I'm going to work the heck out of that store to the point where, you know, they're going to want to put us in all the other stores. And I believe they're going to come to us and say, hey, we're just going to expand you into the other, the other 20 stores or whatever amount it is. But the other thing is timing, right? Sometimes things don't happen because it's not the right time. And you have to learn to um, respect that and understand that. One of the things for me is when I start to, you, and I, you kind of feel it, like sometimes you just get too pushy. And there comes a point where it's like, nah, you being thirsty. And so it's kind of the same thing here. Like, you know, don't be, you don't be thirsty, like know your worth, but at the same time, like, you know, respect, respect the timing. And sometimes when something is the wrong time, it just won't happen, regardless how smooth you are, regardless of what you do. And uh, really quick, uh, I remember there was a store that I went into, um, Whole Foods um, in, in Chevy Chase. And that's another store that I was trying to get into for a while. We were in the, the, a bunch of the other stores in the area. And they, uh, they just kept saying no. For I, I don't know why they were saying no. And then the one day I go in there and like two years later and uh, it's a different uh, buyer that I'm talking to. I'm like, yeah, man, like I'm glad you placed the order. I didn't even pitch it to them at this point. They just sent an order randomly. And I get, I get in there and I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to get in here for a while. And, um, and he just looked at me and he said, it wasn't the right time. And that's like a drop the mic. So I'm going to drop the mic as well on that note. Listen, timing, uh, persistence, they go hand in hand. Uh, try to cultivate them both.